this is Carrie with Canary Quilts and I am back doing a box opening of sorts. So today I have two envelopes that I want to open and I also have started the uh, Jolly Time box that I got. I started the quilt. So I got this back in December and it was Christmas themed and it came with a quilt pattern and I've started cutting it out and I wanted to show you the pieces. But first up, let's get some packages opened. So the first one is from Keepsake Quilting, and I do a Batik of the Month there, and I've been doing that for a while, and they send a pattern every month too. So, oh, cute. So this month is a Jiffy Mat pattern, and here's the fabric, Ooh, looks very wintry for this Florida girl. So, let me lay these out and I'll show you what they look like. So the top one is the blue with the trees. Yeah, very, very wintry themed. I wonder if it has a name. Sometimes they send you a card so you can reorder the fabrics if you like them. But I'm not seeing that. If I do, I'll let you know. I found it. Bountiful Blues is what they're calling it. I just didn't pull it out of the package, so. Snowflake. Yeah, these are gorgeous. And like birch trees with stars. Yep, so that's my keepsake Batik of the month, and I get our fat quarter batik of the month, and I get six of them. Oh, it's uh, got silver on the top, but it's not on the back. So all of them are like that. They have some kind of silver on the top. So I love to throw these into my stash for when I'm working in the future. Okay, so I'm back. My battery died on me. Anyway, that's my keepsake fat quarter batik of the month that I received for January. So the next is from Fat Quarter Club and Fat Quarter Shop. And I'm going to guess that this is either the Batik of the month or I'm also in a Solids of the month. Or it could be both, I'm not sure. Ah, it's Solids. And it's Kona Cottons. And it looks like Yep, garnet for the January uh, birthstone. So they send this that shows you all the colors and so you can order them in the future if you like a certain color. So there are the colors of my fat, qu my fat quarter salads of the month. That's gorgeous. I do not have enough reds. Red just doesn't seem to be my color, but I need it a lot and I want it a lot, so. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to do, well, first off, let me show you this. A few videos ago, I did a Hawthorne Threads opening, box opening, and I got a free uh, tote bag pattern that I had to put together, and I wanted to show it to you, if you remember, if you watched the video. I think I got it free for ordering like so much on Black Friday. So I wanted to show you that, I put it together. Now I'm gonna put you down here and show you how far I've gotten on my Jolly, uh, jolly Box pattern. The Marytown quilt pattern, if you remember from when I opened the box, and it had me cut the fat quarters up. So I cut the fat quarters up here, and these little um, tabs, they're little alphabeties so that you can keep track of which fabrics and sizes go where. So like this is fabric A, B, C. I've got four fat quarters that are the same that are fabrics or uh, cut D's. So got all my fat quarter pieces cut. I haven't cut my background yet. There's a lot of that, like probably like a hundred squares. So I just haven't cut that yet. So when I do, I'll probably then start assembling the quilt and 
I'll get back to you with all that's going. But anyway, that's my box opening and an update on my Marytown quilt pattern. So thank you for watching this video. I have other box openings that I've done and I'm going to be doing more in the future. I have some sew alongs if you want to go to canaryquilts.com and see what I'm doing. Um, I am doing a U.S. blocks, U.S. state blocks, all 50 of them from the Hearth and Home publication in 1912. I'm recreating those and I'm doing those also. So thank you very much for watching.